Okay, I'm going to go over the OpenPEG system real quick. I'll be providing copious documentation of more complex builds of this so you can get some idea of how it works in different situations. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna do a teardown instead of doing a build up, uh, and I'm hoping that'll provide better clarity than going the other way. I'm gonna start with the roof piece here. Um, this piece on the bottom is known as a plug. Okay, and this is the piece that sits down in the layer that you're stacking on, and that keeps it from falling off, okay? When you're attaching your roofs, you only usually need a plug. Sometimes for aesthetic purposes, you may add more pieces, but usually the plug is all that's needed. Um, this next part going down is a little skirt roof I designed. And this is an example of a cap layer, okay? What we have here is actually a double cap and then we have another plug here. This plug sits down in there, okay? So I'm gonna remove the plug, okay? And I refer to both of these as the cap layer because they're both areas that cover up the entire building, okay? When we go down to our next layer, we'll have an example of a simple cap that I'll be able to show you, but this is more of a complex cap. And what these complex caps do is they allow you to have intricate designs between building layers without needing print supports, okay? So when I print this on the bed, I have this flat layer laying down, printing without supports, and I have this layer printing flat down, printing without supports. And then I can pin them together and I have 360, 360 degree detail going all the way around for that building part, okay? Uh, we'll go down to the next layer here. Uh, this is just what's known as the building shell, okay? And we'll be initially offering four shells and there'll be two pretty large shells we're offering in stretch goals uh, and everything comes apart. Sometimes these windows can be a little tight. I'll be providing two different backings, one for ABS and one for PLA. Since sometimes shrinkage issues work out a little bit differently, but they just snap together. It's a pretty tight design. They're not gonna pop apart, especially after you get a little paint in there. And the doors, the doors also print support free and just pop together, no glue needed. Okay, now this would be a sample of the most simple form of the open peg stack, stacking system. You have the floor piece right here, and that just pops on. You have your cap layer, that's the area that shows on the outside. And then you have your plug that holds it all together, okay? And that plug just broke on me, you can see. These serrated plugs sometimes don't come out and they'll just, they'll just break. Just know that they're gonna be disposable. Um, I would also mention that based on your individual issues uh, that you run into in terms of humidity or shrinkage or calibration on your printers, that everybody's probably gonna have to fuss around one or 2% with these peg sizes to find something that they really enjoy working with, okay? It's kinda up to you to find, find that sweet spot. I, I prefer kind of a tight thing because I don't want things coming apart on me, but you might want something that's a little more versatile. Okay, and then uh, on the base layer here, okay, this is just a stone foundation. Uh, we got different designs. We got ones with columns where the thing sits down inside of it. Okay, uh, these column ones, uh, you don't necessarily need the open peg connector like you do on these because the floor is just going to sit in there and not fall out. Okay, but but either way, you know, in this case, the building just slides down in there and this allows us to change this material. You can keep using these, these columns with different kinds of material as we develop more designs. Uh, and then this basic one right here, you do need the open peg connector. You can see I just have one in here. A lot of times one is plenty, uh, but I do put two in there in case you really need to lock it down. And that's kind of a simple overview of what we're working with here. Uh, 
Thanks for taking the time to check it out.